everyone, Senrai Kai here, back with episode 7 of Komi-san Can't Communicate. And last episode, if I remember correctly, we had uh, a haircut, like we met a new character or two during that scene, which was which was quite fun. We also had a shopping trip, which was, which was a lot of fun because we get to see characters and outfits, which is usually all, pretty much always a good time. And I want to say we ended off with like a, uh, like a plane and a trip, like a trip to the pool. So I imagine that's what we're going to do this episode. So if that's the case, I'm, I'm eager to get into it. So let's jump on in. Three, two, one, play. Yeah, at the pool. <laughs> and Comey's all ready. As expected. Right. <laughs> Definitely relatable. Uh, I, I feel physical pain with how much, with how relatable this is. Only seven. Yeah, I guess we gotta leave eventually. All the checking is no good if we don't go. And mother just rocking that apron. <laughs> yeah, we're really running late. We gotta gotta get going. <laughs> Not moving a muscle. Oh my god, someone showed up. I think it was Najimi. me. <laughs> that is Najimi. me. Oh wait, shirt. Not sure what it means, but it's cool, I guess. <laughs> I was gonna like tip his hat. I was, I was waiting for it. There we go. And he's right. She looks quite nice. <laughs> At least Najimi's excited. Najimi is not bogged down by stuff like nervousness or anxiety. But seriously, Komi, I feel her pain so much. I feel the struggle, I guess I should say. The checking repeatedly makes sure you didn't forget anything. The the building anxiety as you get closer and closer to the agreed upon time. Uh, but hopefully she has a fun time. And also, yeah, the pool is showing in the opening, so it's about time we got to it. Cats don't like pools, though. I mean, there, there kind of has to be, right? <laughs> store. Store? As in, like, storing food for the winter? Oh, wow, she looks great in her swimsuit, damn. Yeah, that's going to be a high bar to set for anyone to beat that. I mean, the pink one, if it's not obvious what I'm referring to. I'm not going to remember these names. Shinobi, no. Of course it's his name. Yeah, she's the one that's the most, you know. That is how it works. But, uh, I guess still, I'm sure we'll have fun. Okay. 
We 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 wouldn't dream of it, ma'am. <laughs> I think we're following Komi. <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> So where Najimi was heading. <laughs> It is a special time. Jeez. Yeah, that's how you get put on the list. Oh, jeez. Okay, we need to dial it, dial it back a little bit. I mean, I probably should have seen that coming. She is the type to just to just do that. I'm sure she'll look fine in it. <laughs> I will literally buy you a swimsuit. All you have to do is wear it. You're wearing too much stuff, Shinobi, no. Okay, swimsuit time. I was curious what Najibi would wear, and it, uh, damn, it, uh, it, it looks it looks pretty good, I would say. I, I, I got no complaints. Suits Najibi pretty much perfectly. Yeah, we were pretty much all expecting whatever swimsuit she wore to barely contain her. <laughs> so who's up next? Everyone else. <laughs> Is anyone going to get less than a 10? Uh, I mean, I get it, but... Okay, we did get her a different swimsuit. And I'd say it was a pretty good choice. <laughs> I mean, let's be honest, pretty much anything would look good on her, but still. Yeah, a lot of tension. <laughs> Okay, I guess we broke a scale then. <laughs> but I was actually about to say something kind of similar, like she's the best cushion. <laughs> <laughs> That was that was funny. Man, Koma's actually more sacked than I thought she was. <laughs> I I don't think they appreciate that. Let's go before they catch up. Komi, I can't see your hairs in the way. Not, not that I'm complaining. <laughs> okay, for a second that maybe your top would come off, but no, we're we're safe. Because <laughs> I have seen anime episodes where that happened on a water slide, so I've seen it enough time where I kind of expect it. And this is really making me want to go to the pool, but it's it's December, not really pool weather. But don't ask me. <laughs> Okay, why not? I wonder who will win. Yeah, you gotta go down. If you stay up too long, that's cheating. That's also cheating. You can do it, Komi. I have faith in you. Also, wasn't he cheating too with the, the snorkel? <laughs> 9k? <laughs> Not bad. Pretty decent haul. So are you having fun? She's hard to read, but I, th I think she's having fun. 
Oh no, he's staring at me. What? What did I, did I? Did I do something to make him stare at me? <laughs> at least Najee was having fun, but that was kind of expected. <laughs> right behind you. Okay, careful. <laughs> uh, well. <clears throat> You know, fun and injury, they, they kind of go hand in hand. <clears throat> but. Uh. Man, that's kind of insane how good that looks on Najima. <laughs> uh, panic, panic. I think that's Najima Spirits down. We have a stuff watcher. <laughs> so we're gonna have a secret talk? Yeah, she definitely doesn't want to bring people down. <clears throat> I mean, Najima, with how many friends... When you obtain a certain amount of friends, you... Gotta be pretty... Gotta have that skill. But, the downside is... Komi's just all alone, just... On... 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 Luggage, what do you call it? <laughs> Item watching duty. <sighs> wow, he just kind of popped up there. <laughs> like a ghost. <laughs> he obviously came back. Probably feeling lonely without you. Now, what do we, what do we talk about? <laughs> Seriously. Just just not worry about it. What are we gonna write? <laughs> there we go. Fun confirmed. I don't know, make her feel better. That's literally your job right now. <laughs> well, I guess, I guess that's a start. <laughs> yes, look more happy for everyone's sake. Gotta protect the cans. Don't want them to get sunburned. <laughs> I know I was touching her hand. Time to panic. <laughs> what was that? When did you even get those? Wow, she's got a big one. <laughs> I really
really wish I could just jump to the screen and have fun with them as well. It's not fair that the screen's between us. But at least they had fun. <laughs> oh, did it? Did I miss that? Did we not see that? <laughs> Najima just laughs. I sure hope so. Like, if you were there, part of the group, and didn't have fun, I, I don't know what to say about you, but gotta screw loose. <laughs> Some of us have more fun than others, admittedly. <laughs> Okay, are we not going to be able to leave because we have a siege going on? <laughs> Is it that big of a deal? I mean, I guess for her maybe, but... Also, that may have been changed. <laughs> I, You know, I wouldn't have picked up on that specific thought if it wasn't for the, the text. But isn't that some Shoko family stuff? That's Kanji for Ice. So this is the place. <laughs> and yeah, clearly we can see who who Kobe took after. Which is pretty cool to see. Damn, what? Damn, damn, like Danny Max? <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, this is... I... This is very unique. They don't need to. <laughs> Could you at least lay down, please? We gotta. Well, at least we, we got the, the dessert. <laughs> it really does look so serious. Oh, wow, dialogue. <laughs> you said it. He's like, Sh -sh should I not have asked? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Komi, why are you so cute? <laughs> oh, God, wow, he actually whipped out the head fat. He really is a good dad. <laughs> yeah, paying it forward or back, I guess. <laughs> See, I guess I would call it a successful father-daughter outing. Uh, the library. Okay, so we did make it there. <laughs> nice and quiet. Which one did you grab? <laughs> Everyone just stops to admire her beauty. Her refined, you know, her reading position, posture, figure, what, what do you want to call it? It's a work of art is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> uh, it's like, do I really have to go up there and talk to this woman? <laughs> Uh, 
Let's just settle down a bit. <laughs> Ma'am, please control your baby. You want to read a book? I got a book. <laughs> She's like, you better be quiet, boy. <laughs> yeah, the baby might not completely get her intentions here. <laughs> We're gonna try to make it better. Yeah, we we got we got a smile going on now. Do you feel happier, baby? <laughs> I think you're just more confused than anything. She did her best, though. Oh, a wave. I guess we made up in the end. And there's Tata now. It was just good, just popping up near Komi. <laughs> well, yeah, it became, it became less important once you saw Kobe at the park. So, <laughs> went from Pudu Days to Cohen Days. <laughs> Nobody to push her though. Tatano, get over here. You need, we need, you need, you're needed. <laughs> Isn't that fun? Mostly about slides. The bigger you are, the less sliding time you have, and it just slides kind of become progressively less fun the bigger you get. I remember when I used to be able to do that. Yeah, I was actually about to say, make sure to stay hydrated <clears throat> with all this physical activity. And again, out of nowhere. It's like a talent. He can just show up at the best times when he's either needed or just has an has opportunity to see something nice, you know, call me, call me related. <laughs> I I noticed. Yeah, I think we still need to have the uh, the festival scene. <laughs> Which will probably be closer to the end of the series. It usually is. Okay. That, that was the seventh episode of Komi-san Can't Communicate. <clears throat> and, you know, I went into this knowing that we were going to have, like, a pool episode. And I was not disappointed because that is definitely what we had. And we started off right out the gate with Komi and just showing kind of how she reacts to this sort of thing. You know, checking check in her stuff, getting there early, all that kind of stuff, right? Which is pure, pure Komi. And um, we got to see it in all its glory. And we eventually made it to the pool itself. And that was a good opportunity to see everyone in their swimsuits. <clears throat> and... Uh, 
yeah, Comey just brought her school swimsuit, and like I said, I really should have seen that coming because she is so the character, the kind of character that would do that. But uh, of course, we can't, we can't accept such a thing. And uh, certainly, someone took it upon herself to fix a problem, I think. But yeah, we got to see the swimsuits, and they all look pretty good. I've had to pick who looked the best in their in their perspective swimwear. I'd probably have to give it to Najima. Like, I wasn't sure at first, but around the time where Najima, where uh, <clears throat> where Komi got her knee injury, we got we got a good look at Najima in that outfit, and just that uh, just winner. Just I I, I I had to admit it, winner Najima. But uh, Komi definitely looked great though, as well as uh, our I don't remember her name. I wish I could remember her name. You know, the, the Yandere girl. Uh, I want to say her name's Yamai, but I don't know. Anyway, she looked great as well, but... Yeah, Komi, I was kind of wondering how much fun Komi would end up having, but yeah, I think by the end of the scene, she made it pretty clear that she did have a lot of fun. We had her ups and downs, for sure. She had an injury and all that. But uh, I think uh, at the end of the day, she had a lot of fun and was able to also spend time with her, her friends, you know, because she's been building up this... This group of friends, and it's a good to be able to see her like go out and interact with them, even if some of them a little bit, a uh, little bit uh, extreme, really. But they, they all care about Komi in their own way, and that's that's the important thing. Also, I think she won a bunch of cans, which was pretty cool. Nine specifically. And you like Tadana going back to her, you know, make sure she wasn't alone, and making sure she had a good time because that's what a good friend does: make sure that their friend has a good time. So. <clears throat> but uh, I think that's all I'm about to say about the pool thing. Although I did enjoy the the, the squirt gun battle, <laughs> that was great. Just the Najima whipping them out, as expected of Najima. But <laughs> Najima just like like start to finish, pretty much constantly excited. But uh... and then we had some family stuff in the the next part, right? And I don't think we knew before this that Komi got, like, that Komi was more similar to her father than she was to her mother. <laughs> but this scene made it very clear. And we have some, uh, yeah, non-vocal, non-verbal communication between them. Which seems to work pretty well, for the most part. <laughs> but, like, from, from outsider's perspective, they just see two people <laughs> at a restaurant not saying anything. <laughs> it just it just looks like there's yeah, an incredibly awkward atmosphere or, but like, a fight going on. They don't... They don't know. They don't know what's truly going on behind, behind the scenes. There, the kind of unique relationship that they have. But yeah, it definitely did have some fun bits to it. You know, like uh, like him asking about you know school, and she did her little you know joke. You know, when she's like just kidding. But that was that. That was actually incredibly cute. That, that may have been the cutest thing she did in the episode. I don't know. It's, it's hard to say for sure. But that was definitely up there. And we get the the father head pats on her and. It just, it was a really nice scene, definitely. <clears throat> so, and then he went to the library, got a book, made a, made a baby cry. I mean, I mean, the baby was already crying. She just kind of scared the baby a little bit, but I think in the end, the baby was cool with her, you know. I, th I think she got a new friend in that scene. You know, the wave kind of made it seem like that. And then we had the park scene, which I definitely wasn't expecting. You know, the pool thing I was expecting because they made plans to do that in the previous episode. But, like, a whole scene of Komi just going to a park by herself and just having fun. Like, it sounds kind of sad when you say it, sort of, you know, going there by yourself. But she did seem to have fun. She was on the on the swing, you know, and swung. Nobody to push her, but didn't seem to stop her from having fun. She went down the slide and rested and drank some water. Which Tadano did show up to see because Tadano just gets to see all the good bits with, uh, with Komi. Right? Oh, it's kind of like a, uh, a non-lewd version of Lucky Skiba, if that makes sense. Like you just he you, you rides at these good, these good times. But yeah, I think that might be all I had to say on the episode. It's kind of skimming through it. Yeah, I would say so. But yeah, good episode. A lot of fun. I always enjoy pool episode, beach episode kind of stuff because it's a chance to get the whole gang together. You know, in different than usual outfits and have and have a lot of fun together and sometimes can have some pretty pretty crazy shenanigans sometimes lewd shenanigans depending on the show so i always have fun with those kind of sh those kind of scenes and i think 
I think uh, Komi-san as an anime did pretty well in that regard. Like, I was not disappointed with the full scene at all, so... But prop, props, to, props to the show. But, uh, yeah, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, click the like button, subscribe, Patreon, comment bell thingy, and, and uh, yeah, hope to see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.